never belonged to a union, but I realized that they forged the way for the working class in this country. So that's why I'm here. I am a teacher, and they're making it possible for us to do our jobs. Uh, the kids are hurting, the economy is bad, they come to school with all kinds of issues, and the whole point is they want to privatize education. Uh, the GOP believes that nothing should be for the people and of the people. If you can put a layer of profit on top, somehow that's better. It's ridiculous. My grandfather, I come from dairy farming, and my grandfather was one of the individuals who started collective bargaining for dairy farmers many, many years ago. I was, I'm a former dairy farmer. I'm also a former, and I was part of a collective bargaining when I was dairy farming as well. But I also was a school nurse for a number of years. Um, and I'm here today because of the children that will be strongly impacted by this. School nursing will be gone and school nursing is a free point of care for children in all communities. I'm pissed Thanks. off about so the vaginal care. Care. Talk to you later. It's going to affect the people that I work with. By it's making the poor even poorer. Are you a union worker? I'm not. But you work with the poor? Yeah, I'm a social worker. I'm just here to support everybody. And we, in our district, we already pay 10% of our insurance. So, like our superintendent said, Walker thinks that he's going to give all this money back to the districts because the districts, are, the teachers are going to have to pay 12% of their insurance. We already pay 10% of our insurance. So, 2% more isn't going to mean that much more to our district. It's not going to get them out of trouble. My district has, and it's a small district, has to come up with 1.2 to 1.3 million dollars to make up this deficit of money. It's huge. And, you know, they're going to have to start cutting programs, and those programs will take years to build back. They're just going to be gone. For the university system. Mm. Work uh, many, many hours and don't get paid nearly enough. But I'm okay with that, but don't take away our unions and our rights. Oh, you guys don't make the big bucks? Um, nope, not, not, not what, from what they're saying. We don't make those kind of bucks. I don't know the people that do. I don't know them either. <laughs> Nobody seems to. No, right. right. These are like a mythical beast. Plus, this These is a uh, wealthy state, state workers. Right. I just want to quote Ronald Reagan from Labor Day 1980, where in Gdansk, Poland, the Solidarity Movement was going on. 
And I quote Ronald Reagan, not too often, but today I will. Where free unions and collective bargaining are forbidden, freedom is lost. This is definitely not about the budget. This is about crushing unions. And it has been about that from the beginning. I've been here four times. When there's this many people here, you know, maybe you should listen. Because we have something to say. I'm here because I support farmers. I'm here because I'm tired of people having to take it, bring it, down take it yeah. and the rich take it away. And it's time that we all Sign get, class, all get together instead of, yeah. of being jealous and pulling someone down. That's just one rung ahead of me. When the problem is not the person one rung ahead of me, but the person way at the top of the ladder. Get involved, Stu. Right now, I bet my wife's a teacher. I'm a firefighter, and I'm actually a city Milwaukee firefighter. And we're not bearing any other brunt, which I think we should do. So there are some of us that are going to be getting together to find out what we have to do to be able to bear the same brunt that everyone else has to, because it's not fair. Um, this whole system that we have now where you can give huge tax breaks to the wealthy, but you're going to cut off uh, heating for the elderly and uh, head start for children and we want smaller government unless we're talking about uh, reproductive rights or uh, the rights of working people to help determine uh, what their working conditions are and what the students learning conditions are. Um, I've seen it go from having 20 kids in my classroom, it's, now it's like 30, 35 and it's going to be 45, 50 and it's going to be impossible for us to do our jobs. And we're supposed to make connections with every kid. Well, how do you do that when you see 160 kids a day? I would like to, you know, as a greedy, wealthy teacher, I would take babysitter wages. Give me $3 an hour for every kid I see, I'd be making 200000 a year. This is ridiculous. We haven't got a real raise since 93 with the QEO. We were limited to 3.8%. 1.7 of that minimum had to go towards insurance. And then the tax credit that he proposed to the 90 to 300 dollar per person, it's like that's nothing. How is that? It just adds to the deficit and it's not adding any any incentive to hire anybody for that reason. It's, it's ridiculous. And I grew up in a Republican household and this isn't even a Republican party I would recognize. Taking our rights away, it's not okay. Do we need to find the lowest paid worker in the country with the least amount of benefits and the worst okay. job? I mean, that's what we all need to shoot for. That should be the bar. Well, I'm certainly not happy about the passage of this bill, but I tell you what I am happy about is just seeing this amazing turnout and everyone's been smiling and it's all been all about solidarity. We're almost Canadian, huh? Almost, eh? I'm a teacher in Minnesota and I was just lobbying in our state capital in Minnesota on Wednesday this week and I was told to my face by my state representative that if we didn't have a Democratic governor, our unions would be under attack as well. So it's not just Wisconsin, this is a nationwide thing and we have to stand together and stop it. Thirteen people I just had a really, really weird trip with. <laughs> is unbelievable. Their staying power, despite what you might have heard, is undeniable. And Fred Risser can party with the best.
Festival. 